What's up guys? This is Jimmy with High Fly Fitness. Today I want to talk to you about why you need to coach in everything you do in your life, whether it's learning to go to the bathroom or learning how to train. Now it's going to be kind of contradictory if you think you can learn everything on your own. That may be true, but think about where you're actually learning this information from. The fact that you're learning it means that you're learning it from, you're getting the information from somebody else. Now, you don't necessarily need a coach, meaning that you pay or that they're your mentor or whatnot, but you need somebody or something to, to show you how to learn. You've learned from the day you were born how to walk, how to, how to, how to think, how to talk, how to pee, how to, how to sleep properly. Everything that you know how to do currently, you have learned through trial and error. Now, this is the biggest point uh, that I want to make is that with trial and error, trial and error is time, it, it takes up a lot of time. So if you can learn how to be efficient and get a coach that will directly teach you how to prevent uh, a waste of time, with trial and error, you have a lot of error in order to learn the process. So if you're able to learn the process quicker with the help of a coach, you uh, avoid injury, you avoid failures, you avoid mistakes that be can be long-lasting. And these long-lasting mistakes can hurt your ego, they can hurt your motivation, they can hurt so many different things in your life. Uh, let's say you want to learn how, how to pick up a, a girl. Well, you're going to go through a lot of trial and error. Yes, that is required. And you're not going to be perfect even with a coach. However, the coach is going to be able to provide you with direct feedback as to what you are doing correctly and what you are doing incorrectly. Versus you having to directly figure that out on your own. Uh, and you won't have a direct feedback from anything really except for your memories. And those are going to be a little bit flawed anyway, depending on the situation, depending on the environment in which you experience that stimulus. Uh, so if you're training and you're feeling pretty iffy on the squat or the bench or the deadlift, but you don't know why, so you keep going to the gym and you keep figuring out, testing out new hypotheses as to why your squat, bench, deadlift feels weak. Well, if you have a coach or somebody that can directly look at what you are doing incorrectly, they will be able to cut half of the time, maybe 75% of the time that it will take you to determine what you're doing wrong and allow you to fix it. And that is key because you only have 80 years maybe uh, to do what you want to do with your life and, and wasting your time with trial and error is, is simply wasting your time with your life. You can do anything else. Why would you, why would you prefer to learn everything on your, on your own, increase the time that it takes to learn when you can speed it up quickly with a coach or a mentor or somebody that knows what they're doing? I mean somebody that you trust, that you know understands what they're talking about and whatever field this is, it's very important to understand who your coach is, you should be able to ask questions, you should be able to ask questions to determine what their philosophies are and why they're implementing them onto you, how their approach will benefit you directly and how you can be most efficient while utilizing their practices. The money that you put into a coach can definitely affect your motivation. So if you have a really expensive coach, but he's not doing anything for you directly, uh, and he's not directly benefiting your life or your goals or your determinations, then you're wasting your money and your time. So it's very important to research your coach, uh, determine what he knows, who he's coached, how, how long he's been in the game, how long he's had, how much experience he has with himself. Uh, that a lot of times can negate how long he's been in the game with other people because a lot of times there's coaches that just preach and preach and preach, but they don't do anything that they preach. And uh, that's one of the things that I like to implement is things that I've done and I've learned directly and apply them to those that I'm teaching. Uh, this can go in direction, any direction really, but primarily the point that I want to get across to you today is that it really does matter if you want to maximize the results that you have to get someone to directly provide feedback for your goals. That's all I got for you today. Talk to you next time.